There were all sorts of exciting reveals at this year's Tokyo Game Show, along with some new info about the games we were already psyched for. So let's take a look at everything we learned from TGS 2023. The hilarious physics-based brawler Party Animals just came tumbling onto Game Pass and it looks like a couple of iconic characters will be joining its cast of furry fighters. Ori isn't looking quite as agile as they did in The Blind Forest and The Will of the Wisps, but at least they've got Naru here for emotional support. Thousands of fans have already testified about how much fun Capcom's cult classic courtroom series is, and now Game Pass members will get the chance to witness it for themselves when Phoenix Wright's Ace Attorney trilogy arrives on September 26. Play through one or two of its gloriously weird legal dramas and I'm sure you'll reach the same verdict. And if you do, you'll then be able to enjoy Apollo Justice's trilogy when it comes to Xbox at the start of next year. Now, here's my game of the year for basically the whole next year sorted Bex. Power World is a monster catching action RPG which doesn't just let you catch them all, no no, it lets you hunt them all with high powered rifles. It lets you then recruit them all to build bases for you and work in your factories, plus it even lets you arm them all with their own rifles to help even up some of those monster battles. The possibilities are kind of endless really and only mildly disturbing and they're going to be all open to you when Power World hits Xbox next year. We also learn more about how quests will work in Persona 5 Tactica, the tactically minded spin-off from the beloved JRPG which will be coming straight to Game Pass on November 17th. After clearing an area, you'll have the chance to return to it to take on a new challenge. By doing so, you'll be able to unlock powerful new skills and Persona, plus you'll get the chance to talk to your buds, yay! Also, we got to double dip on the Persona franchise with another look at Persona 3 Reload, which showed off its glorious new visuals, cunning new combat mechanics, and generally made us feel even more excited for it to arrive on Game Pass on February 2nd. Square Enix stopped by to ensure Xbox gamers that Octopath Traveler 2 is coming their way and they can expect to see it in the winter of 2024. In the meantime, Infinity Strash Dragon Quest The Adventures of Dai will be here a whole lot sooner on September 28th. That looks pretty spectacular. Taking inspiration from the iconic anime films of Hayao Miyazaki and Mamoru Hosoda, Althea is a magical RPG adventure which takes players on a journey to a world filled with incredible sights and beautifully designed creatures, some of whom are friendlier than others. Arriving day one on Game Pass on October 26, Meniko's Night Market is a social sim with a gorgeous hand-drawn aesthetic. Become a jack of all trades as you learn everything from woodworking to pottery, turning the resources you scrounge up into delightful little knickknacks that you can sell in your store. That's sure to make your dad and his giant, giant head very proud. Even in a world ravaged by nuclear warfare, and I mean ravaged, Atlantic City is still drawing in the tourists thanks to Fallout 76 upcoming expansion. In fact, there's so much to see here that the expansion has been split down the middle in two portions, with the first one set to arrive on December 5th. You're going to find new missions, creatures and factions to contend with, as well as a glittering casino where players, mostly me, will be trying their luck. And if you fancy getting a few hands in before the full release, you'll be able to check out Atlantic City via the public test server from October 3rd. Wulong Fallen Dynasty is also getting a major new expansion called Conjurer of Zha Zhong. Arriving on September 27th, it will have players taking on a new wave of legendary warriors, as well as some very angry birds. On the bright side, however, players will have some elegant new weapons to enjoy thanks to a Lies of P collaboration, which sees the puppet saber and the etiquette umbrella added to the game on the very same day. Game Pass will be adding a couple of exciting new members to its clan of Yakuza games, with Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, and Like a Dragon Ishin coming to the service. Gaiden will be a day one edition on November 9th, giving players the chance to find out what happened to Kazuma Kiryu while Like a Dragon was taking place. It promises to give players a deeper insight into what sort of a man Kiryu is, while also reminding them of what they already know about him. That is, that he's really, really good at beating people up. A new trailer for Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes confirms several important things, like that the game's 2.5D visuals really are lush, and that its battles look incredibly intense, and its cast of characters is absolutely huge. Oh, and that there's fishing. 
you always need fishing. But perhaps the most important thing we learned is that it will be coming out on the 23rd of April and it'll be day one on Game Pass naturally. The third game in the My Lovely trilogy stars a very lovely empress who unfortunately is quite dead. Playing as the emperor, you have to decide whether to sacrifice the souls of your citizens to resurrect her or to pursue a new relationship with another world leader. Dating is never easy, is it? My Lovely Empress is set to arrive next year. I always say it's never a bad time to don a suit of power armor and wage war on a bunch of prehistoric monsters, so I guess it's a pretty good thing that Exoprimal has a whole new season of dino slaying lined up for us. Season 2 kicks off on October 18th and is bringing some exceptionally colorful new cosmetic options along with it, as well as some extremely dope new Street Fighter themed content. With Swery65 and Suda51 teaming up for Hotel Barcelona, it's a great day for dudes with numbers in their names and people who love completely off the wall action games. Hi, you're looking at her, it's me. The new gameplay trailer gave us a look at Hotel Barcelona's exceptionally bloody, wonderfully deranged combat as you cross blades with sharks, puppets, socially conscious serial killers, and trust me, a whole lot more. The hotel opens for business next year and we suspect we're going to have a hard time checking out when it does. Once again, the Tokyo Game Show has left us with tons of new games to look forward to, so hit the comments to let us know what is at the top of your list. Thanks everyone, bye bye!